Hi, it's Kamil here. Um, I'd like to actually give you another perspective on um, going into a relationship with another person, uh, whether it's a romantic relationship, so-called, a marriage, or any other relationship. But let's focus on the mainly on the romantic relationship, but it applies everywhere. What really makes relationships very often not work is that people go into a relationship without a commitment, and instead they go with a promise. So. One example might be people, you know, getting married and then after a few years they are not really happy but they are still together because they think they have to and they feel like they have to and, and every day it's like, oh, they don't say it but they just live into that, they live into that, oh my god, I, again I have to be this person, I have to do this because I made a promise. You know what? It's not gonna work. And you know, breaking a promise is not a bad thing, it doesn't make you a bad person. It only makes you a bad person if you do not clean it up with the people to whom you made the promise and then everybody concerned, everybody who's uh, in a way affected by that. So what you need to do, you need to go to whoever you made the promise to and say, look, I know I made the promise, but it's, uh, it's not working for me and I don't think it's working for you. How about if we change that and, and we come up with some different solutions or different um, agreements, yeah? So, Simply go to your partner and say, look, it's not working, yeah, let's, let's just split and, and do something else, yeah. Now, when you start a new relationship, just go with a commitment. Your commitment is to make this the best relationship in, in the world and make it a relationship that will last through the whole of your life and the life of the other person. It doesn't mean that you promise to make it, you just... The only thing that you promise is that you will be committed to that, that, that you will do whatever you can to make it work. If it doesn't work, well, that's how life works. Sometimes things don't work and you simply need to break your promise. But in this case, you're not going to break your promise because the only thing that you promised was to be committed to making it work. You didn't promise to make it work, you promised that you would be committed. And committed, it means that you really want to make it work. Absolutely, you do everything to make it work. But, on the other hand, you are not attached to the results. That means if the results are not happening, you are not, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? You just take responsibility. You just say, okay, it's not ha happening, okay, what can I do to make it happen? And you make it happen. And if you decide that, you know, realize that it's still not happening, then you then go to the person and say, look, I don't think it's happening, what can we do about this, yeah? As simple as that, yeah? So, I encourage people who are getting into relationships, especially into marriage, to change their vows. That, so stop promising, uh, I will be with you till the end of your life, till death us do us part and things like this. Because this type of promises, they do not work. You cannot promise to another person, like being fully responsible, you cannot promise that you will be with them till the end of your life. You cannot. But what you can promise, you can promise that you will be committed to, to making this relationship work as long as you are together in a relationship. That's a constructive and really realistic promise and it's a very powerful one. So have a look at this and, and, and see if that will help you uh, in your existing relationship or in your uh, coming relationship. So if you're going to a date, don't think I mean, don't go thinking, oh my God, what if she's the one and then I will need to commit to, to, to and be with her till the end of my life. Oh my God, I would like to see some other girls. Well, don't worry about this. You don't need to promise to her that you will be with her till the end of her life. You just need to promise that you will be committed to the relationship, right? For as long as the relationship lasts. Another thing is, don't worry about this on your first date, yeah? I know, because I, I have similar thoughts when I go... To, to, a, to a date and, and I'm sure that uh, there are some people who also have similar thoughts you know there's no need to worry about it you know we're going there to have fun you know to make sure that the other person has fun and everything is cool all right I trust that was helpful so uh, leave me some comments if you have any questions and then uh, let's uh, work and make the commit make commitments to make the world a better pro place <laughs> thanks a lot bye